Hi everyone. As I already discussed in the previous topic, the tune base oscillators. Now second oscillators is tune collector oscillators. Why it is called as tune collector oscillator means the tune circuit or the tank circuit is connected to the collector part of any transistor. So this is called as tune collector oscillators. What is the circuit diagram of tune circuit oscillators? I am drawing the circuit diagram of the tune circuit oscillators. Tune collector oscillator. Tune circuit is connected across the collector. That's why this is called tune collector oscillators. Again, we are using a transistor. NPN transistor in common emitter configuration again here is a resistance RE and the capacitor CE Here is a tune circuit and tune circuit is a parallel combination of capacitor and inductor. This is a tune circuit here and now this is a this is a primary of any uh, transformer and this is the secondary of any transformer. This secondary of the transformer is always connected to the base. And this R1, R2 again form the biasing or potential divider biasing. This again is a blocking capacitor. And this R1, R2 here is a VCC. This lines represent the mutually coupling of this L and L1 inductors or the mutual inductors. This is the construction of this the circuit diagram of the tune collector oscillators. What are the different part of these tune collector oscillator? First is as the transistor, NPN transistor and configuration of this NPN transistor is common emitter configuration. Again, we put the RE resistance. RE resistance provide the bias stabilization. Again, is Q point. If we not put the RE here, then Q point will not be stable. And we put CE capacitance. And this CE capacitance is known as bypass, cap bypass capacitor. Bypass capacitor. Bypass capacitor means it will pass the AC signal and which AC signal is fed back to the input of this transistor. If we not put this uh, CE here, then we will decrease the gain of the transistor or produce the degeneration as in case of negative feedback. Now again R1, R2 form the potential divider biasing and potential divider biasing of the transistor again is transistor replacement means if you replace the transistor then the gain will be changed. Again this is the tank circuit, tank circuit I already shown that this is the parallel combination of C and N inductance and capacitance and by changing the value of C we can change the oscillation in L and changing the oscillation L will correspond to the mutual inductance in L and by this mutual inductance of this L and L1 it will induce the EMF here as the EMF is positive EMF is positive or we can say that the feedback is positive how this feedback is positive once uh, there is a this is common emitter transistor configuration and common emitter trans uh, configuration always produce a phase difference of 180 between input and output and second uh, phase is the phase change in between l and l1 l and l1 
180 so either by adding 2 it will get 360 degree or if we subtract this this is 0 so this picture or this value shows that there is a positive feedback in this circuit this is the construction of this tune collector oscillators now the working of this tune collector oscillators is this first when we supply the vcc here vcc is dc voltage here when vcc uh, apply in the circuit then the collector current here is a collector current here is a base current here is a emitter current once the vcc is supplied to the circuit then ic is increasing when the ic is increasing it will charge the capacitor when the capacitor is fully charged then it will discharge through this inductor l then uh, when there is a frequency of oscillations is produced in the tank circuit i already explained earlier in its detail when this frequency of oscillations are changing due to the changing value of inductor and capacitors this change in inductance will produce the change in l1 and change in l1 means there is the induced emf in l1 and this induced emf is fed back to the forward biasing of the emitter base junction this is the emitter base junction emitter base junction and this is a collector base collector emitter junction these are the two junctions of any transistor this is emitter base junction this is collector emitter junctions the signal is fed back to the forward biasing or it will increase the forward biasing of this transistor once the forward biasing is increasing means ib is increased then ic is increased once the ic is increased it will again changing the frequency of oscillation of the tank circuit and this increase in ic till continue in this way as the ic reaches its maximum value once the ic reaches its maximum value then the induced emf through this l stops once the uh, induced emf through this l stops then there is no signal feedback to the input of the signal means the uh, the forward bias in earlier this is a forward bias the uh, uh, input is not supplied here then the forward biasing of this emitter base junction will decrease and this decreasing of the forward biasing of the emitter base junction it will decrease the current ib when ib is decreased then ic is decreased again this process is going on process is going on means once the ic becomes to a maximum value and i then ic becomes to a minimum value this complete circuit is going on as the supplied energy compensate the energy losses and in this way we can obtain the frequency of oscillations by this tune collector oscillators i had already explained the phases that is positive feedback and the positive feedback is explained by this 360 degree or 0 degree celsius how this 360 degree and 0 degree is calculated by the this common emitter configuration phase there is a phase change of 180 degree from NPN common emitter configuration and one phase change is coming from this L1 and L2. So total phase change is either 360 degree or 0 degree. This is all about the tune collector oscillators. One thing I already explained here, this forms the uh, radio frequency transformer or what is the radio frequency transformer means? Uh, here is a primary coil, here is a secondary coil and the magnitude of this induced emf will depend on the turn ratio of l1 and l2 and turn ratio will decide this amplitude is increasing or decreasing okay students thank you